So today's video, I want to talk about rude comments on the internet. Um, I, in general, am lucky enough to have a wonderful uh, subscriber base audience. I don't have a huge channel, but um, I have interacted and not met in person, but have have uh, been fortunate enough to feel like I've even formed some relationships. There's people on this uh, on my channel for many, many years. I mean, it could be up to a, a decade and you know exactly who you are, so I truly uh, appreciate it. But anyway, um, every once in a while, it kind of goes in cycles, I, I will get some uh, rude comments. And no matter um, who you are, no matter how respectful you are or how how you carry yourself, there's always going to be someone that is going to leave uh, some negative comments. Now, negative comments and trolling is kind of completely different from uh, constructive criticism. I've received constructive criticism before, and you can tell the difference and decipher between the two. There's one time I did a, um, I did a couple of cooking videos, and someone mentioned. You know, maybe you should you should try this or try that method, and it's like, oh yeah, that's that's actually a good pointer. But um, when people are just you know putting comments to put you down, um, it's something that it's unfortunate, but uh, it's something that's part of the internet. But honestly, uh, from a scale from one to ten, ten being that it bothers me, it honestly really doesn't bother me at all. So some people might be saying, well, why are you doing this video? Well, I'm doing this video. Not so much because that bothers me, but I did want to um, kind of give some advice to people that have a hard time with um, some rude comments. Uh, so for instance, uh, with me, um, doesn't happen very often, but some people will say that um, I'm too small, I'm too tiny. Why am I giving out advice if I'm not? I don't look. I don't look. Um, uh, I'm not strong enough. Excuse me. Uh, I did one video on a tutorial on how to uh, do bicep curls, and it's very self-explanatory. I felt like, um, objectively, the video accomplishes what it needs to. It's not too long, it's not drawn out, and it shows you how to do the bicep curl. Uh, it's a very basic exercise, but, you know, everyone starts somewhere, and um, for a beginner, this is, um, I like to... Do videos for all different, all different levels, from beginner to middle to expert. If I just do videos that are elaborate, how am I gonna draw in more outsiders and mainstream people, that casual people, especially if I want to build this channel? Nonetheless, um, you know, you get comments like, "Hey, why don't you? What? How come your biceps aren't developed? How come? You know, why don't you work on your biceps before?" You give out advice who are you to give advice so um i feel like objectively i mean i do have a small frame obviously i'm i'm pretty light um but i think for my size and for my general health and for the advice that i give i think it's pretty sound but you're always going to get people that are um a little bit short-sighted now i do agree that you need to play the part within reason when you want to give out uh, health and fitness advice, but if you're only focusing on someone's body and trying to put putting them down, it kind of kind of um, shows that they're a little bit um, closed-minded. But um, like I said, it doesn't really bother me, but you know, for people out there that, I guess the, one of the main uh, points, excuse me, I want to point out is that uh, if you do post on the internet and or let me know if you do have a YouTube channel and if you post videos, let me know in the comment section that whatever you put on the internet, um, even though you may put it to private or if, let's say you get a lot of hatred on a certain video, you may put it to private, but there could always be someone that can uh, uh, download your and copy your video uh, for permanent. So, you know, anytime you post anything on the internet, you need to treat it as such. You need to treat it as it's a permanent, even though you could take it down, like I said, but there's always someone, and, and especially when you get a bigger um following there's always someone that's gonna save your video and then something could bite you in the ass so just be very wary of what you post and also um how you comment um uh, and respond to other people because it's not really uh really worth it so um the other thing i wanted to say before i depart is this whole uh, 
concept of being anonymous on the internet and people just posting and commenting, whatever. Like for someone like me, I don't lose any, any sleep over it. I rarely even uh, respond to people that are disrespectful. It, uh, it's just not worth my time. I used to in the past when I was a little bit more confrontational, but there's just, I mean, I've had too much good things going on in my life. So who cares about feeding a troll? But there are people that are very sensitive and people that are sensitive to the internet or sensitive in general that have mental health issues. And, you know, I've had my, I've had my fair share, you know, a lot, I got baggage, but that's for another story, but people that aren't as strong will, and it's nothing to take away from them, but people that are a little bit, have more of a fragile ego. Those are the people I kind of worry about because you hear it where people, you hear it on, on stories on, on, on TV and the media, how, um, there's kids that are getting bullied um, through social media. They can't take the heat. They can't take the hatred. Now, I don't want to judge because I can brush things off, but I've never had hundreds or thousands of people just start grilling me for something. I've never been put in that position. So to say that with 100% confidence that I'd be able to brush it off, I'm not going to say that. But I do know I have much thicker skin than most people. I, it just comes with the territory. That's how I've been bred. But for other people, it can be uh, very catastrophic. And some people even like commit suicide because they get bullied. So for people that uh, post comments and they don't really, really, really think about it, um, that's a little problematic. And I, f I don't know if I'm going to get through those people. But just kind of anytime you get into another, if you ever get into like an argument on the internet, um, you have every right to defend yourself and be respectful. But the best thing to do is if you're talking to a brick wall, just ignore it because um, it's just not worth it. And for the and the message and my message is for the people that uh, just are malicious and they can say whatever they want, even though it's on the internet. Um, if you wouldn't say it to someone's face, then you probably shouldn't say it at all. I think it's a cowardly. I think that a mob mentality. And I, and I do notice that if you just get a couple comments and people saying something, people are, are like vultures. They want to be on a team and they just they just go after you. And it seems like it just increases the hatred. Now, some of the hatred is warranted. If you're a dumbass posting stuff and saying stupid racist remarks and stuff, you better, if you can, t if you, if you post certain things, you better be able to take it. If you dish it, I better be able to take it. But still just be a little bit aware of um, other people because you know even if you say even if you think you're joking it's not a big deal if you call somebody someone who has an eating disorder for example and they're um, they lost some weight and let's say they posted a transformation video and it didn't meet your standards if you put in the comment section oh you you don't look that good uh, some people might say, oh, well, don't be a snowflake, but, you know, that's a little insensitive. You know, the person's putting their their ish on the on, on the internet, and um, they're trying their best, and um, as long as they're not trying to get ass pats, um, does it really bother you that, you know, just because they, they maybe they didn't, they don't look like a supermodel, but they made progress, why don't you just say good job and move on, or just click off the video? So, this video's getting too long, so... Uh, that's about it. I just don't like the insensitivity that uh, social media has brought out the worst in um, people that are just pretty much dicks. It gives them that anonymous protection to say whatever they want. And those types of people just don't don't feed into it. So that's my time. Careful what you put on the internet. Um, and if people are criticizing you, just kind of brush it off. It's not a big deal, and if it's too much for you to handle, then you might want to uh, maybe get off the internet and get off social media for a while until you can compose yourself because it's not, when you get support, it's great, but when there's people coming after you and you have to defend yourself, it, it's gonna test your, your, your character. So that's my time, thanks for watching. I will uh, talk to you in the next video, bye.